Okay, so uh, we're in Bromley South still, uh, and this is like a little park area. I don't know what park it's called, uh, but it's like a little sort of like you've got a kiddies playground thing down at the bottom end there. But most of it's like gardens, sculpted gardens sort of thing. You know what I mean? It's got a pond over there with a little fountain in the middle of it. It's got ducks and stuff and sort of like little wooded area sort of thing and, and what have you. And it stretches quite a way. Uh, and, and, you know, obviously in summertime it's quite gorgeous. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I've been taking some photographs and stuff and what have you. Uh, and I thought what I'll do is, whilst I'm here, because I've, I've come across the tree again. There's this tree. Uh, and I love this tree. I mean, I know it, sadly the thing is no longer living. But they're amazing, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? I find them fascinating. I mean, it's obviously been uprooted. Uh, it's obviously fallen over, maybe in a wind sometime. Maybe either the wind or it just got too big and it fell over. Uh, I'm not sure, but I just love... I mean, when they end up like this, the root system just fascinating you know it, it's almost like a fossil you know it's like they're just I like fascinating I, I love them absolutely love them I've seen a few trees here and there about like this uh, some maybe a little bit more spectacular than others because some are a bit larger and just some of the way the the roots get twisted into amazing shapes and stuff it's almost like a sculpture you know uh, that's why I love nature Nature is amazing, you know what I mean? It, human beings, um, mankind, artists, whatever, we can create some amazing stuff, we can. Uh, you know, we, we, we can sort of copy nature and stuff like that, but you can, never, you can never match it. You can never match nature for its oddity, for its beauty, for its, you know, um, in, in, ew, can't speak. Intricacies uh, is the word I was trying to say with not great success um, But I just love this tree uh, You know the fact that especially the root system like I say the root system is just so Amazing, you know the the various shapes and all the little knobbly bits and do you know what I mean just the patterns uh, I mean, I guess it's the artist in me that I just absolutely love all this stuff. It's just incredible, you know uh, I'm sliding down this hill. I'm not in a very good spot right now. Uh, I'm literally holding on to this tree for dear life at the moment. It's not very steep, but the thing is, if you if you lose your footing, you can still you could still do a little bit of damage to yourself. Not maybe. I mean, like I say, it's not death threat uh, life threatening necessarily, but it's a bit precarious. I'm slightly okay again now because back on the slightly more less steep ground. I was standing right there, I don't know if you can see that on there, I'm not looking at the screen, so I'm pointing in that direction, I presume it's, you can see, it, it might not look very steep on the thing, but when you're standing there just holding onto that branch and you're holding the camera in the other hand, it can be a bit precarious. Uh, right, so, anyway, like I say, we'll just have a little wander this way. Uh, like I say, this is, I like this, it's really nice, it's really pleasant, uh, especially during the summertime, like I say. Uh, so, and you've got all these little... I mean, I don't know if they're, strictly speaking, uh, people, you know, generally use these little footpaths as a regular thing, or they're meant to be that way, or maybe people's just, because over years people have just traipsed through that way for a shortcut or whatever, and, and it's just kind of naturally formed or whatever. I don't know, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll just have a little traipse over here. Uh, these are stingy nettles, by the way. Uh, luckily, I've got long sleeves on and. Uh, I've got my jeans on, so we should be okay. So look, here's a little pond. Uh, the other fountain is just over there, you see. So, and then you've got this like little amphitheatre over there, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's what I call it anyway, that's what it reminds me of, like all those Roman or Greek amphitheatre type things. Uh, so, and you've got this little bit over here, which I, I don't know what you can, how you classify this exactly. Um, I'm just wondering, we might as well go through this bit here, through the little pathway here. Saves us going, doubling back on ourselves, because I must admit, these days, I'm nearly 50 years of age, I smoke way too much, uh, I've got a bit of weight on me, and it's a really hot day, and to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really want to, although it's, it's probably a little bit more interesting back that way, really, uh, just slightly more, no, maybe not vastly more but anyway we'll go this way sorry i am just waffling um as i tend to do at times so anyway 
Well, you've got all these reeds that have grown up out of this pond. It's grubby down there looking. Right, okay, so we shall now go through this other little bit here. Uh, but I, I just love it. It's all a little picturesque and a little, little squirrel. Hello, squirrel. Hello. What are you doing then? Hello, fella. Right, uh, so look, you can see this little wooded area. Um, but like I say, this, this, in that direction over there, when you go in that direction, uh, again, you go up sort of like big hill thing and, you know, there's little garden areas and all that sort of thing, little benches to sit down, there's a bit of grass area, you can have a picnic or whatever. Uh, it's really picturesque, really nice. Um, and then, like I say, you go up the top and then you go a bit further on uh, and you can either follow the, the, um, the sort of hillside itself, but that's a little bit precarious, or you can come out of the gates of this and then you walk literally across the road uh, and then there's another set of gates and then there's like this big sort of um, expanse of like field, well not fields, but like a hill, but it's quite big area of just green and bits of woods and, and what have you sort of thing. But it's not as mani uh, uh, manicured, I guess, is that the right? You know, it's not as, as gardeny, if, if that's a real expression. Um, but, uh, yeah, now, choices. Do we go this way, or do we try to go through here, which looks like it's going to be... I think we can get through, because the path is literally just at the end of here. There's a... but it's a little bit... Ooh. Oh, blimey. And it's full of flies. Um, okay, at least it wasn't too bad. Managed to get through there, there we are. Back out on the pavement, as it were. Right, yeah, so, see I just love it. It's all really picturesque, really, really nice. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is, instead, I don't know, should we go over the bridge? Well, we could go up the bridge that way, or we could walk up the stairs to get to the bridge. I think we'll go up this way, because like I say, I'm feeling kind of lazy, and although the steps might look easier, I think this is a slightly shorter way of getting to it, although this is not steep steep, but like I said, when you're, when you're not in the same, not, not, you know, when you're not, um, oh, great, uh, I'm not in the best of conditions, let's put it that way. Uh, as I said, I smoke way too much, and these days I do struggle going up steps and things and which is probably nature's way of saying to me I need to quit because I am positive absolutely 100% that well I don't have to be positive I know it's they're doing me some serious harm really but they're of all the drugs in the world at least from my this is my opinion obviously people will have different opinions uh, but from my opinion I think nicotine is the hardest drug to kick of all, to be quite honest. Uh, but anyway, so this is a little bridge. We're on this little bridge here that I just videoed. I've taken a few pictures of here. And like I say, you've got all these little nooks and crannies, little stairways. I don't know if you can see that little stairway up there. Uh, uh, like I say, it's, it's quite nice. It's really picturesque. It's really nice. But I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. Uh, and the time is what time is it it's now 20 past four uh, and I'm thinking about food and I'm thinking maybe what I'm gonna do is I am going to head to that uh, pub that I was talking about and get myself something to eat because I am definitely getting hungry so okay like I said you can see it's all sort of little nooks and crannies and little pathways and and all the rest of it. It's really cool. I really like it. It's, it's good. Uh, right, okay. So I'm just contemplating whether do I carry on uh, until I get to the top. Uh, I think maybe we carry on until we get to the top, I think. I think that's what we're going to do. So... Uh, see? Nice little sort of pathway, as you can see, it's quite cool. Ah. Okay, so you see, look, there's another little sort of well, I say little pathway. I mean, I don't again, I don't know, maybe people have looks like a little pathway, don't it? But I don't, I wouldn't recommend necessarily going traipsing down there 
necessarily. Uh, so, yeah. Now we've we've got again choices here because it's these little windy paths. Uh, we could either go out that way and come up the stairs there, or we could walk up the path here and walk around. So, um, mm, that's a good question. I don't know. Oh, it's stairs, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? Because this isn't that steep, and like I said, uh, you might have noticed I'm quite breathy, so. I think because this is a nice gentle incline, I think I'll do this instead of the stairs. <laughs> oh dear. God oh, blimey, that's not really good, is it? Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not that old uh, in comparison to what they used to class as old years ago. I mean, you know, I'm 50 this year, 50 next month. Uh, and uh, I'm sure there are plenty of 50 year olds and probably even older actually it may even be 90 year olds that are fitter than me <laughs> so that's not a good thing is it really uh, I probably could do with losing a bit of weight and you know and all the rest of it sort of thing so yeah anyway so that's where we've come from from down there and as you can see there's lots of squirrels do you know that's another thing about these squirrels right these are North American squirrels they came they were brought over Oh, they came, well, I'm not sure exactly how they got over here, but they're not indigenous to our country uh, originally. I mean, obviously they've been here for a good couple of hundred years now, maybe, I don't know exactly how long, to be perfectly honest with you, but, you know, I swear, because our native ones, the native uh, squirrels, they actually were red originally, uh, and I think it, I don't know if it was due to the sort of kind of type of food because that was the other thing they were specialists they specialized in certain types of food they they're unlike their Amer North American cousins who basically are omnivorous and they will eat anything do you know what I mean whatever's edible they will eat it so they 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 can be picky and choosy do you know what I mean they they can choose what they want to eat and what have you whereas our indigenous red squirrel uh, I'm not sure exactly what type of food the, they specialized in but they only ate a certain type of food that's one of the reasons uh, that and I believe that the North American squirrel is one more aggressive two uh, is uh, it breeds faster and stuff and what have you sort of thing so essentially they ousted the red squirrel and there's not very many of them left now I believe that the biggest populations of red squirrel now are in Scotland uh, I believe they're up that way somewhere uh, the woods and stuff up there um, but we've got mostly grey squirrels now and I guess generations later people kind of think, they don't maybe realise that they're actually not indigenous to our country, they are a bit of an invader uh, and as I say I don't know a couple of hundred years maybe 300 years ago, I'm not ex I must admit I don't know exactly when they were introduced to this country but to get back to what I was trying to say uh, again very long-windedly is that the North American squirrels I've started to notice and like I say, I might be wrong, it could be any other number of things. But I swear, every now and again I'll catch one. Well, when I say catch one, I mean catch sight of one. Uh, that looks as though it's turning red. Now, that might just be me, it might be what's name, but they're not as grey as they used to be. I remember these things, I remember these little squirrels. And they used to be really, really just grey. You know, and although for the most part they're still grey. But look, they definitely, I swear they're starting to go red. No, I don't know whether that's because they're starting to eat the same food that the original red squirrels used to feed on. I don't know, to be quite honest. I'm not an expert in this thing, to be quite honest. I just, I swear, they look as though they're turning more and more red. And maybe eventually, another few generations down the line, maybe, they'll, we all, we'll, they won't be grey anymore. They'll be, they'll be red like our original native ones. I don't know, maybe I'm talking rubbish. Uh, but I swear that's what it looks like. Because uh, I just seen one just down there just a minute ago, and he was really red. I mean, well, you know, much more red than that one we've just seen then. Um, uh, so I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Right. Okay. So we're going to be heading to the high street. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off for now. Uh, I'm going to go and pay a visit to the little boys' room because I need a wee. Uh, or I might hang on. Actually, I might hang on until I get to the to the rich mail. Uh, so I'm going to go there uh, and get myself something to eat. And uh, I think I will stay for another couple of hours, I think. I think I'll just have another wander around, perhaps. Uh, see how I feel, like I say. 
because um, it's gone four now. Uh, it's on its way to getting to be half past five, which is the start more or less of the sort of rush hour thing uh, or peak peak time on the train. Um, so I don't know, maybe hang around and avoid that. So right, okay. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Bye.